Hey, what's up guys? Wayne York here. I just want to do a real quick video and show how to connect my wideband. I have a PLX uh, wideband sensor. I'm going to show how to connect that to my tuner, which is the Diablo i3. So whenever I'm doing data logs uh, for remote tuning, my tuner will be able to actually see my air fuel ratio uh, right along with the uh, data logs live uh, all together in one place. So it'll help dial in the tunes a lot better. And here we go. All right guys, so I bought this six foot long headphone jack off Amazon. It was like $9. I'll put a link for that in the video description. Um, this is a, a little bit smaller than the standard. So this is actually two and a half millimeter headphone jack, which is slightly smaller. It'll directly plug into your Diablo i3. And then uh, basically on the other end of it, it will have three wires black, white, and red. So the black is going to be your ground. So I just unplug, this is the power and ground that go to the PLX wideband. This is the uh, SMR-6, I believe is what it's called. But uh, basically the power goes directly there. Then you have the analog directly next to that. So I already unplugged the analog. It typically has just the two ports on the left side used. So this top one is where I'm going to put the red wire. The bottom one will be the zero to five volt output. Uh, so the white wire is going to go there. So on these, all I did was get these male connectors from a local auto auto parts store, crimp them down onto the wires. And then I'm gonna plug these directly into those little ports. So it'll just grab onto it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna plug this back to the analog. Got the ground uh, wired in. So I'm gonna plug this back in. And then I'll show you, you also have to add the analog output into your Diablo. All right, so once you have your Diablo i3 booted up, you're just gonna go into settings, analog input setup, add new parameter. You can name it, I'll just name it AFR. I already input it, so I'm just gonna go through this quick. Select which channel. Optional analog unit, so for this, uh, this is going to be what the units are going to be read in, so you can put like percent or ratio for the AFR. Lower bound, this is going to be 10.00. Upper bound, that's going to be 19.98. I'm not going to hit enter because it's going to save this and I already have an input, but uh, that's all it is. And then uh, whenever you actually go into your data logging, you'll be able to select that uh, AFR you added in for the analog input. And you'll be able to get that live data recorded directly from your AFR gauge into your tuning data log. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. It's nice and quick, but uh I was searching on how to wire this thing up and found absolutely nothing. So hopefully this can help some of you guys out. If you like the videos, uh, subscribe. Both YouTube and Instagram are B5Beast422. And we're about to take this thing out on a test drive.